I am going to capture the schematic again that we captured in previous class. Go to File, New, Project, select the schematic, select the folder where you want to save your file. Give a name. To find the components, click place part icon. If you can't see the libraries here, add the libraries by clicking at library icon. Select all the libraries open them and all the libraries are added so select all the libraries find open I'm looking for an open that has two parts per package you can see number of parts per package here This one has two parts per package, so I'm going to use this one. Press enter, left click, and end place. I need three registers. Two capacitors. I need one 3 pin connector I need two 2 pin connectors okay I want to place some grounds you can place grounds from this place ground button select any I'm going to select this one okay to connect the components press W so your mouse pointer will be changed to like this crossed sign. To connect two pins, select one pin and go towards the other pin and left click. Select one pin, go towards the other pin and click left mouse button. The same way connect all the pins you need to connect okay the schematic is an art so try to make your schematic file as nice as possible, as clean as possible. Now I am using this connector for my input power. I need one positive voltage and another negative voltage supply. So I need to connect this pin and this pin with this and this pin but I don't want to draw physical lines with these pins. In this circuit I can draw physical lines 
but in complex circuits it might be very difficult to draw ease of the connections physically. So what we can do, we can use some ports. Ports can connect two points without having a physical connection. So if you give same name on two ports and connect them to two pins, they will be connected. To get a port, click this place port icon. Select any one of these. I'm placing some to rotate. Click R. Okay. I am naming this port as B plus and this port as B minus. I am naming this port B plus. I am naming this port B minus. So in our design file this point and this point is representing a single node. Similarly, this port and this port is representing a single node. Let's connect them with the power pins of the op amp and connect these ports with the connectors. Okay. So our schematic capture is complete. In the next video, I will show you how to add the footprints in our schematic file. Thank you.